Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from Edward. As usual you can find link to the detailed review article in the video description below. Just click it and read text in English and Russian. Check detailed photos as well there. As you can see uh, this is a 70 second scale uh, aircraft kit which copies BF109-110 uh, to be precise in G4 version. Uh, it comes as a profi pack and it's actually a reissue of the previous kit. We have this beautiful box art on the front side and note that it's packed into the box of the new type so it's quite large here you can see comparison with my hand but it's thin and here we have four marking options which are included into this kit. From the other side there is just short information about the kit and manufacturer and also kit info page QR code. This is a top opening box and that's what we have inside. As you can see there are plenty of different sprues inside and we're gonna check them one by one. Let's start from the transparent one which is packed into a separate plastic bag. Just give me a second. Okay, so it is molded in form of this circular frame. Here we have all canopy parts. Molding quality as you can see is quite nice and parts look like real glass, they are transparent enough. And you have masks for them, of course, because this is a profi pack, so no worries about paint and finish. Then we have actually four sprues packed into the separate plastic bag. Again, give me a second to open it. Here we have different parts, for example, this one is dedicated to tail wings and some belly parts, for example, here and nose parts and ailerons. Next we have sprue with landing gear wheels which should be assembled out of two halves. Also some internal parts for example here you can see some of the cockpit equipment and here even you can see the dashboard. Again molding quality is really nice, note the thin parts here they are carefully molded without any flesh on them. Next we have plastic frame with propellers. Of course there are two of them and note the attachment points which will make it possible to separate them without damaging parts themselves. And here you can see cockpit 4 which is molded as a large one piece panel. And the fourth plastic sprue from this set is dedicated to engine gondolas. As you can see each one will have to be assembled out of two halves. Also we have here missile tube launchers, uh, some cockpit elements and also machine guns for the nose segment. Next we have three plastic frames packed into, this, into the next plastic bag. Here we have slightly bigger parts because those copy... actually there are four plastic frames. But as I said, those copy uh, wings and fuselage. For example, here you can see wing parts. Parts division is typical. We have two top halves and one bottom. Engine gondolas, as you saw, are separate. Ailerons are also separate. Both wing parts feature recess panel lines and riveting. And inside, there are position pins for the proper alignment. And some internal elements. Maybe you will have to drill those holes for installation of some external accessories, it will be up to you. Uh, then we have special frame which should be used for the night version because here we have different parts for antennas. Next we have sprue with fuselage parts. Here you can see them. Note the tail segment is molded separately of course. And here you can see what's inside. There is minor cockpit walls detailing which should be enhanced with separately molded plastic parts and also PE elements. Surprisingly there is also another plastic frame with more fuselage halves, so one pair will go into your spare parts and one will be used in actual build. And here you can see by the way exhausts for the night version with this uh, flame re reducers, let's say. Next we have different bonuses which are typical for profit pack. Here you can see them. First of course is a mask sheet which features all stickers, all necessary stickers for canopy and wheels. 
Then we have PE parts. There are two PE parts. One is painted and one is not painted. Here you can see the first one which should be used for the cockpit and some external elements. And here is one which is unpainted and it will be used for the antenna alignment as far as I can guess. These are typical adored products so no worries about possible quality problems or any other issues. And also we have separate plastic bag with decals. Just give me a second. Okay. So those decals are printed in Edward. And here we have all necessary symbols for four marking options, stencils and even decals for the cockpit if you don't want to use PE parts which are supplied in this kit. And last but not the least is assembly manual. This one is printed in form of this large brochure. Short history note on the first page. Then there is a parts map. Note that a lot of parts won't be used in this build. And assembly starts from the cockpit of course. Gradually continues into wings, fuselage. Here you can see masks application guide. And what else is interesting here? Here, by the way, you can see uh, the special PE jig for antenna alignment. And of course, marking guides are given for four marking options. Paint numbers are given in Gunzi designations. And on the last page, there is a stenciling guide. Even though this is a 70 second scale kit, there are um, some stencils included, and of course, they will good on the finished aircraft. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below. I'll just write it and we will discuss it together. If you like this video, press the like button. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all fresh video reviews on time. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye.